begin uh, invocation prayers. Omatnyana tamira andasya tiyama jana shalakaya chakshurun milikam yena tasmai sri gurave namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Kaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Hare Good evening to all of you and I like to thank OCLF for giving me an opportunity to share something I don't know what Murnalini ma'am has in her mind when she gave me the topic education or spirituality beyond WhatsApp universities. We had a discussion and then she told me some points and then I'm going to share some of them with you. And thank you, you all also for spending your valuable time and being with us this evening. Sunday we have done something else as well. So the topic, yeah, WhatsApp university, there are four universities in India which gives us a lot of knowledge. Four universities. Number one on the list is WhatsApp University, <laughs> right? And uh, we keep getting so many messages, so many messages. You know, last month we said we had this eclipse, you know, solar eclipse and lunar eclipse, and so much of information we are gathering. My God, what to do? What not to do? When to eat? When the ground starts? When the rain starts? And everything. My God. So, WhatsApp University, which gives us a lot of knowledge. As they say, no, we are. Jindagi se maine ek dost manga tha. Jindagi se maine ek dost manga tha. Mujhe vidwanon ki phoz mil gayi. Hum us group mein hai. Hamara group, what's the group I'm talking about? Hamara group washing machine nahi hai. Jo pehle istemal karo, phir vishwas karo. Hamara group LIC hai jindagi mein saath bhi jindagi ke baad bhi. So the kind of education, kind of information we always have a lot on WhatsApp. So the first university is WhatsApp University. Second university is Pantaprivala. Keep sharing so much of knowledge. The third university is your Salurwala. And the fourth university is a person having drunk a lot, heavily tongue. भगवान बड़ा तो मंदिर में क्यों खड़ा कि जो मंदिर बड़ा मंदिर बड़ा तो धरती पे क्यों पड़ा क्योंकि भाई धरती बड़ी धरती बड़ी तो अनंत शेष के फंड पर क्यों पड़ी क्योंकि भाई अनंत शेष बड़े अनंत शेष बड़े तो शिव जी के गले में क्यों पड़े अच्छा भाई शिव जी बड़े शिव जी बड़े तो पर्वत पे क्यों खड़े क्योंकि मेरे बाप पर्वत बड़ा पर्वत बड़ा तो हनुमान जी के हथेले पे क्यों बड़ा पुजारी फ्रस्ट्रेट हो जाते हैं बोलते भाई तू बता कौन है सबसे बड़ा दुनिया में वो है सबसे बड़ा पूरी होटल पी के भी दो पेड़ पे खड़ा दे इम्पार्ट अलाउट ऑफ नॉलेज टू ऑल ऑफ अस सो दिस फॉर यूनिवर्सिटीज विच यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दे इम्पार्ट अलाउट ऑफ इनफॉरमेशन टू ऑल ऑफ अस बट नो दे से डेटा वी हैव ऑन मोबाइल एंड समटाइम्स वी वी गेट सो मेनी थिंग्स फ्री राइट so when they say when things are free, you are the price. Who is the price? You are the price. Nothing comes free, as they say. You no, know? there are no free lunches. So I'm just going to speak few things about uh, the technology and the artificial intelligence behind it. So four points basically, and then we can have some question and answer sessions. So the first point is focus and attention. You must have heard to become successful, we need focus and concentration and attention. Do you agree with me? You are all with me? Yes. yes. So focus is essential, right? And uh, there are many successful people who say that how how they attain that focus. 
Some people say we meditate and we become focused. There are some people who say we stay away from distractions and that's how we attain focus in our life. Just to give an example, a modern example. You must have seen or heard about Game of Thrones. Who, who is the writer behind? R. R. Martin. R. R. Martin. If you look back into his life, passed out in 1971 from Northwestern University in journalism, this fellow started writing and so many of his scripts were rejected. Just now we had the session on writing and converting it into a TV serial. So HBO blockbuster it became Game of Thrones and he wrote almost seven books in the series The Song of Ice and Fire. And he says, my computer does not have internet. You search on social media the name R. R. Martin. You will not find his name on Insta, Facebook, anywhere. But you will find his name at one place. Top reach 100 people on the planet. So he says, I want to keep myself away from distractions and that's how I become a develop focus in my life and that is the cause of my success. So what R. R. Martin is saying, same thing that Krishna talked about in Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2, verse 41. Vyavasayatmi kāvuddir ekeha kurunandana bhoja kāya antāścha buddha yo vyavasayana Vyavasayatmi kāvuddir, you need to have this single pointed focus if you want to really become successful in your life. So, what these modern day technology or gadgets they do, basically, they distract us to some extent. Do you agree? Yes. Whenever there is some beep and there is some, some, some tone, then we tend to attain. And when we, when we tend to attain that, actually we say technology is like a knife, you know, how do you use it? It's neither good nor bad, it's dependent on the usage. But, dear friends, technology is not neutral. In America, they allow guns, you know, at their homes. But you know, the condition is, you have to keep it under lock and key, so that it don't fall into the hands of children. Do we have such lock and key for these devices? Is there an age barrier? In online, even nursery kids where I, I saw some of them were using technology. So there is no age barrier we have kept for technology. And previously, when the technology was transferred, there used to be some training. Ashwathama misused Brahmastra. To kill King Parikshit was in the womb. You must have heard that. So his father, Dronacharya, was not in favor of Ashwatthama imparting him technology because his character was not so good. Even the father was not handing out the technology to son. Right? Because of lack of training. Now, do we give some kind of training to our next generation when we hand over this technology, high-tech technology to them. Because the technology, as I said, it's not neutral. There is going to be a misuse of that. So, this is one aspect, focus and distraction. Second aspect is community connections. We might feel that we are connected to various groups, various people via internet. The world has shrunk, as they say. But are we truly connected with people around us? Are we truly connected with our family members? First of all, let me ask you, are you connected with our own selves? When we talk about spirituality, it talks about three connections. First is connection with your own self, understanding who you are and why you exist. Second is connection with the world around, the people surrounding you, understanding them to be your brothers and sisters. And the third level of connection is connection with the Supreme Lord who is source of both of these, you know, myself and whom I am connected, the horizontal relationship which I have with others. So there is, as they say, Jiv, Jagat and Jagdish, 3J. 
So connecting with that Jagadish is the third connection. So spirituality basically means developing connection at all these three levels. And I'll say, with the age of internet, all these three connections are hampered. We can say the hijack of the spirituality with the internet and the modern technology age. If I ask you, will you be able to see your reflection in the water which is boiling? No. Imagine the big room and there is a big pot where the fire is there and the water is boiling. Will you be able to see your reflection? No. Imagine we put out the light also in the room. Then will you be able to see? No. So actually spirituality talks about three gunas. You must have heard somewhere. Right? Sattva, Rajogun and Tamogun. Tamas. Sattva, Raja and Tamas. So these are the three modes. So if you just want to have a basic understanding of these three modes, you know, Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. Samad Bodhiva Jangal. Anyone who is in Tamas, such a nice place to sleep. I go to bed. Someone in the Rajas. Wow, such a forest. I will cut all the trees, make more money. That is Rajas. Someone in Sarva, oh, such a nice, cool, serene place. I can develop connection with Prakriti Mother Nature and I can do something, something like meditation here, right? So, Sattva, Rajas, and Tamas. Did you get the difference? Okay, one more example I will give you. This is from Ramayana and three brothers. Kumbhakarana, which model? Out of Sattva Rajas Tamas, can you, can you say? Tamas. So Kumbhakarna is Tamas. Vibhishan? Sattva. Sattva. Ravan? Rajas. So you all grab the point so fast. Thank you. So Sattva Rajas and Tamas. So three brothers in the same family, but in three modes. So the water which is boiling, so much of activity is happening, that is actually Rajas. The room that is dark, that is Tamas. So if you want to be self-aware, we need more of a Sattva. We need more of a Sattva Gun. We need to cultivate more of a Sattva Gun. Then only we will be able to understand our own self. What we call it self-awareness. So, rising in Sattva. So for that we need to reduce passion and uh, or we can say reduce rajas and reduce tamas to increase sattva. And the, in the age of internet and technology, they promote rajas and tamas and less sattva. Do you agree? Yeah. More of a tamas and more of a rajas. Rajas means distractions, tamas means something vulgar which generation today, they are addicted to. And it turns into addiction. It turns into, uh, no, modern science, it is, there's a documentary, uh, you, you can just Google out later, um, Social Dilemma. Some of you might have seen that, you know. And some other things related to it, it's like uh, addiction, you know, addiction. You, you get addicted. Someone who is alcoholic addict, people scream at it, hey, that's bad, don't do that. What about those people who are addicted to using the technology? Right. So we also develop that addiction. Whenever there is some beep and whenever there are some more likes on your post, you know, we feel happy. We feel elated. Actually, that's the dopamine which releases more and it gives you, gives you a sense of happiness, but I will say it's a titillating happiness kind of thing, which don't substantially really make us happy. Because our existence is not at the level of body, which spirituality tells us. As Albert Einstein has said, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience, but we are actually spiritual beings having a humanly experience. So that's what spirituality is. Spirituality means something related to spirit. You understand spirit? Not the high spirit. <laughs> But the spirit is related to something in the language of Einstein, it's antimatter. No? We understand scientific language, I see so many youngsters here. So, antimatter, 
that is called as spirit and the science related to spirit is called as spiritual so modern thinking or the excessive use of technology make us think only in terms of matter matter matters most and they give a blind eye they turn a blind eye towards spirit so this is the disadvantage by increasing the religious and tamas and not the sattva so this is the second point what was the first point you have with me focus and attention what was the second focus on the words community connection. community connections yeah thank you for that the third yeah the third point of our discussion is we become impatient right how do you feel when you are not able to download the image it just in kb is and still you are not able to download that you are sending something to someone and it's just to read what do you feel If you know, why, why is happening? Why is happening? Where is the internet? Where should I go? Who should? Where should I connect to? Right? Why is always happening to me? <laughs> why is always happening to me? Wherever I go, the network should follow, but there were network doesn't follow. You know, just uh, recently one uh, Devaki Devi Dasi uh, who came to our uh, temple, we had invited her as a guest, and uh, the moment she entered in. You know, we ask you now in in our uh, Indian tradition, we say you know, Atithi Devo, uh, and we offer at least if we don't have anything, at least offer them a good smile, <laughs> offer them a good water, a place to sit, right? She said today, when the guest comes, the first thing you should share is the Wi-Fi password. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome to welcome to this session. I attended an ICC conference in Mumbai, Jogo, last month. And uh, I was like also sitting sitting on the conference panel. The conference they were using user ID and password. So you have to give that compulsory to them. <laughs> and if the network is low, then we are in. The, so we are living into the age of instant gratification. You know, everything instant, an instant tea, an instant everything, to such an extent that this technology now the G's are increasing. You know, the 5G and so many things are increasing. But that is also making us little impatient. Do you agree? Yes. So spirituality expects that kind of patience. Therefore, if you see in the older age, everything was slow. Bullock cart. People used to go on bullock carts, right? Now, by the way, you say now you are asking us to go into that age again. Should I sell my Mercedes and purchase bullock cart? No. There is a book by the way. Mom goes sold his Ferrari, so I am not asking you to sell your Ferrari. You can use that, but there is something related to the slow that it makes our mind also peaceful and calm. Our utpadan shanta, productivity, if you want to increase, what is required? You know, to increase our productivity, the calmness. Of mind is absolutely essential because when your mind is calm, then your thinking ability increases and your creativity also increases. So if you see so many people making inventions and being creative, if you study their lives, you know somewhere they have been able to gain some control over the mind. Like there in Nagpur, you understand Marathi also? Yes. So there is a great saying, Swami Samartha, "Jane man jingle, tane jab jingle." So one who has been able to conquer the inner world, the mind, that person can conquer the outside world also. In the language of Stephen Covey, who has written several habits of highly effective people, he says, "Private victory and public victory." So we focus more on the public victory and less. About the private victory, so we have gone out into the outer world, but not into our inner world. So, impatience, impatience. 
So this is the third thing. And the last thing, the fourth point in this discussion is uh, authority shift. What do you mean by authority shift? Previously, if you wanted to ask something to someone, like if you wanted some information, you would ask to someone in person, right? रस्ते से जाते समय कितने लोगों ने दूसरों को पूछा है कि ये पॉइंट कहाँ पे है, वो पॉइंट कहाँ पे है, तो ये आस्क समझ। Now we have Google Maps to answer, right? And the map is there, take a left, take a right, and even if you take a wrong turn, they will realign and bring you to the destination, right? So authority has shifted now. अबर उपनिषद और वेदांत देशे तस्मा गुरुम प्रपत्ते तजिद्या सुश्रेयो तमो इफ यू वांट श्रेयस इन योर लाइफ समथिंग ग्रेट समथिंग लॉन्ग टाइम इन योर लाइफ देन अप्रोच योर गुरु एंड कृष्णा आल्सो रीट्रेट्स द सेम थिंग इन द फोर्थ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता श्लोक नंबर 34 तद्विद्धि प्रणिपाते न परिप्रश्नेन सेवया उपदेक्षन्ति ते ज्ञानं ज्ञानं नस्तत्व दर्शनं तत्व दर्शनं सीकर्स ऑफ ट्रुथ दे विल गाइड यू व्हेन यू अप्रोच देम लाइक आई एम एन ऑथर आई वांट टू राइट बुक Whose guidance I should seek? Google Baba. Obviously, they will give me something, something, something. But I sought guidance of this person. Mr. Soil Master is sitting here, the Guru Baker. He is helping me. So we seek help of someone more experienced than us. Right? So today the authority has been shifted from person to this artificial intelligence. And you ask something, as they say, Google has an answer for all the questions, right? They say it, but I don't firmly believe that. If they had answers to all the questions, the divorce rate on the entire planet would not have increased. The suicide rate, the depression, the anxiety levels would not have increased if they had the solution for all the problems. Basically, they are what I say a profit driven people. Even if you ask them a question, they will give you a solution which will be profitable to them. And therefore, people to till date have a tendency to go and ask a sadhu because they know he is not going to look something for him. Many people come to me. Baba ji, how do they take Many people come to me. Uh, and my name is this, you can tell me about it. Yeah, some engineering graduate coming to me. <coughs> Though I have an engineering background, they come to me, Swami Ji, what do I do? I don't understand. What should I do? Which branch should I choose? Because if they know, if they go to college, they know what they are going to tell. Today, the most selling branch in Maharashtra, or I don't know about the other, other states, but in Maharashtra it's AITS, you know. Some of you who are pursuing engineering, you know, AIT, artificial intelligence and data science, the most, most like, the promising career is in these fields. But they are profit driven. And when they are going to offer us some answers, they are going to be profit driven. They are not our well wishers, by the way. So this Tattva Darshi, who are seekers of truth, whom Krishna is saying, asking Arjuna to approach, what actually, because they have seen the truth and they don't have any selfish agenda behind. So therefore we can expect a genuine help from them. Right? So these are basically the four points which I thought of sharing with all of you. That you know, what's up? You know, sit the topic given to me, and I just turn it into this AI and the technological usage of the same. The first point was focus and uh, concentration. It, it 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 distracts you to some extent. So we need to at least. And therefore, this term like uh, uh, quit social media by Cal Newport, you know, digital detox. They are gaining again a lot of importance again. Digital detox means what actually? You, 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 are you aware of digital detox? Yes. yes. So you are all aware of digital detox. So before the mobile came into existence, people were already living into digital detox. Basically. So we are not going from Mercedes to Bullock Card, but we are going into 
digitally addicted to digital detoxes. So somewhere we want to go back, somewhere we need to go back, reflect more. So this is the first focus and attention. Second is connection, connecting to community and the connections with them. So that is also lacking. Many times we see, you know, even in queues, recently I, I came from Mumbai and uh, there was a compartment, not a compartment, full train, AC locals they have started. So all AC locals transport, you can see everything inside. I was just waiting for my train to come and I, I was just having a peek, picking in. AC compartment, transparent, every one hundred percent of the uh, travelers they are on their cell phones. I am not saying 99%, I am saying 100% because I, I watched them. So, what is the connection with others? You know, What is the connection? And therefore, where is the question of compassion then? Because compassion is dependent on attention. I see many people, uh, every day I go for a walk, walk is good for your health. So, when I go into a park for my walk, I see many people still on gadgets. And someone is begging, you know. No, we, we, we Indians are into a tradition of helping others. So first of all, we need to understand the existence of others. When you are into your world, how do you understand the existence of others? And this is the first level. Second level is understanding their pain. And third level is then helping, showing empathy and compassion. So the third level forget, second level forget, we are not even on the first level. Acknowledging their presence. And even if we acknowledge, we still want to keep our own space. You know, I have seen day in and day out, I am attending meetings, you know, meetings, people have like, you know, having meetings and you have your cell phone kept like this. And the phone rings in the meeting, you look at it and you say, I am not going to respond to this. Such a magnanimity, you know. <laughs> So actually, uh, and turning the phone down is not very good. <laughs> so connections, so we are missing on them. And as I mentioned, to spirituality, ask us three levels of connections. Connection with your own self, connection with others and connection with the Supreme Lord. So the connect connectivity is missing somewhere. So this is the second point. And the third point, we talk about becoming impatient. We, we lack patience. And because of lacking patience, people give up. Do you agree? Uh, Pune University has made it compulsory for first year engineering graduates and induction training. And almost all the engineering colleges have travelled and given the sessions. They invite me for a session on Bhagavad Gita and students, improving concentration, controlling the mind, like that. That is compulsory for the, all the students to learn because they saw that students are becoming impatient. Yes, I send a message and immediately there is beauty. Immediately I can connect to anyone who is at a far distance but dear friends, love, developing relationships takes time. Do you agree? Yes. Cooking a meal takes time. Though ordering on Zomato won't. <laughs> but cooking a full meal takes time. Right. Developing a good relation takes time. So we need to be more patient when we are living in the real world. And this technology makes us really impatient. And that impatience is all permeating even into relationships. And therefore, divorce rates are increasing. And there was a news recently. I come from Nasik, so there was a news, you know, the majority, the divorce rates after lockdown have tripled in Nasik. My God. And the call analysis they are still doing, some of them are attributed to cell phones. And the fourth and the last point which we discussed was authority shift. So we are shifting the authority, we are giving the authority to them in terms of knowledge which is basically profit driven and agenda driven.
and there are so many documentaries which you can see that the agenda behind the artificial intelligence in the name of AI they are selling us everything. You know, you know, you know, you you are just talking and you go out and you will see the ad related to what we do. You know, Gmail has started this feature and I send mail to someone. Three days afterwards, I get a pop up, like a follow up. Right. So I say I am advancing in technology, but actually they are knowing what I am doing. So they 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 go into it and they know everything. So there is no privacy, right? So basically, I am talking about this. Private victory. So, if you want to really become victorious in the world, the first thing is to become victorious in your own world first, in your private world, and then you will certainly become victorious in the outside world as well. Thank you all very much. Hi. Can I ask one question? Yes. Yes. I'm open to questions. Yes. 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 Starting. That was a joke, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. The four four universities is asking, uh, and four universities which I uh, mentioned in the beginning as an icebreaker to make people laugh, and that was the joke. I'm happy because I was the second one. What's up? What's up, Vinay? Yeah. Salam wala. Salam wala. Panta privala. Okay. And the drunkard one. सबसे बड़ा कौन? Yes sir, yes. Swamiji, first of all, thank you from Orange City. Now everybody is running like a bullet train, and they are perfect in their aims. And regarding career, even new generation is doing the best. But how can everybody can reduce the stress in the this? Uh, high space, high space lives. Yeah, and uh, how even the new generations are suffering from the lifestyle diseases. This is the basic problem. So please uh, help out this problem. I have an entire session. Actually, thank you, thank you for this uh, wonderful question. I have an entire session which I take about dealing with stress. It's a full three hours workshop. But in nutshell, if you want to talk about understand what is stress. And I will say, some level of stress is required in our life. Do you agree? Yes. yes. Some level of stress is required, but not the excess of it. Ati the the. So when the stress become excess, then there is a problem. So to remove that excess stress from our life, there are various tools which our Vedic text they are offering us. The first tool I will say is meditation. And meditation means we are basically sitting at a place and uh, having an object of meditation. We do this mantra meditation. We chant this mantra, by which our mantra, by definition itself, is manana trayate iti mantra, the deliverer of the mind. That is called as mantra. So we chant mantras peacefully. Second, that I suggest is pranayam, because mind stays in prana. You know, someone dies, we say that the prana is away, prana is away. So prana is actually the energy. And uh, recently, it is the term pranic healing. You know, energy healing. You must have heard about it. Gaining a buzzword today. It's a buzzword today. So what that the prana actually? Prana mind stays in that prana. So when you do prana, actually you are pacifying the mind. This is the second suggestion. Third suggestion I would like to give you is uh, reading. Reading a book, hard copy, because you know. There is a feeling of touching the book, and, and but not only that, it adds value to your life. It adds value. Just doing a routine, you know, and uh, as you said, bullet speed. I say jet speed. Yeah. yeah. And someone might say, I don't have time for that. Right. Uh, the greatest disease is today no time. First of all, I'd like to congratulate all of you for taking your time and attending the session like this. <laughs> so, no time is the greatest disease of this world today. But uh, because coming from an engineering background, I always have this example. You know, we in the first year engineering we have this subject called as engineering drawing. Graphics. You know, we draw a lot. Yeah, you can tell me this. So we draw, 
and previously used to have this before stencil, you know, HB pencils, Nadraj Allah. Yeah. So if you are drawing and you are a, uh, the, the edge of the pencil goes blunt, and someone comes and offers you a sharpener, will you say, I don't have time to sharpen my pencil? Better draw, better, 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 let, uh, let me draw. No. With a blunt pencil, your drawing won't be perfect. You need to take out time to sharpen your pencil if you are a drawing student. Similarly, we are a student of life and we need to take out time for all these things which are going to make our entire day productive and entire life productive. Therefore, Emerson has said this, it's regarding exercise. You know, I also do yoga every day. And many people, you know, they, 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 when they say do yoga, how many of you really believe that yoga and exercise is really helpful for our lives? Yeah. And it can create a tremendous impact in my life if I do it daily. And if I ask you, how many really do every day? Some, Some of the hands are. Yeah. And if, if, the, if we ask, then why not do And then the common answer is no time. So, Emerson, I have the answer for that also. Quote from Emerson, what he says, if you don't take out time for exercise today, the same time you have to take out later for illness. Correct. So better take out time today and exercise. And someone asked me, why do you do exercise? My answer is, I love exercising their bread. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry? Yeah. Just yeah. to support what you are, I'm I'm doing. We will be creating all 3,000 insecurities in that book. Yeah. So, it's quite difficult from your body. Just to support the mobile charge, we don't have time to charge. 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 And I have a biggest challenge. I have all the basic routine carrots. I have a public day break class to make some carrots. I have to go to three more stages. January 23, we have to walk and walk and walk and walk. So few students didn't qualify for the first or second stage. But they put it in doubt. We have to bury our children for success, the IT or the IT or the IT or the IT or the IT. But I am not saying rejection. But if they don't make it, it's about 55% or 78%. That aspect of the teachers or the parents, I think we need to work more on that. So I am not saying rejection. Okay, every person works every day. Everyone cannot be IT, J product. I am also, by the way, I am also from the core of engineering in the army. और इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग का आपने बात की ना ये प्रोसेस है बॉटल लूप मेरे को ना सामने ये स्क्वायर दिख रहा है आप बोलो उसके नट ऊपर से कैसे था मुझे नहीं दिख रहा है मुझे ये दिख रहा है सो बट आई वांट टू सेव वो लाइक सो एनीथिंग टू सपोर्ट हाउ डू यू प्रिपेयर चिल्ड्रन टू टेक अ माइनस सेट बैक माय सेवेंथ सेवेंथ क्लास फॉर 8 आउट ऑफ 25 डिप्रेशन में चले गए अरे टॉप आप शुरू से गए मैम क्या सोचेगी ठीक है हो गया क्या हो गया कहता है सब बैकवर्ड हो गया कहता मेरे दोस्त क्या सोचेगी हाँ बोल जाते हैं क्या कौन है तेरे नारायण को साले तो तेरे आठ नंबर आए पिछले दो तेरे दोस्ती छोड़ दी आज साले कौन है जिंदगी जैसे तो वो क्या कर रहा है वो रहा बात यार ऐसे दस दस ट्वेंटी फाइव बल मार्क टू मार्क्स ऑफ योर लवली फिफ्टी इयर्स ऑफ लाइफ तो वो फिफ्टी सेवेंटी एटी इयर्स ऑफ � yeah, yeah, actually I agree with you. It's a very biggest challenge, you know, to bring out students from the zone of marks. And they are just behind it and behind it and behind it. Life is not about just marks. One of my friends is in Australia. And in Australia, tell good news for you. He, he is a CEO in the company. And he says what kind of policy they employ while employing people. They ask this question to you, have you ever failed in your life? If the answer is no, they reject that fellow. Yes. And why? If asked, they say, this person who has never failed in life, if he fails in our company, or if company fails, how will he be able to handle? So more than IQ, today is everyone is working on IQ, right? But you know the greatest exam or the toughest exam of India? Anyone? CAC. No. CA no. Are you? CAT? No. 
S S S B. Right sir? Service selection board. It's the best exam. You enter in. If the hundred people, the hundred students enter in. If no one qualifies, they will keep the post vacant, but they will not select anyone. Any top degree. And I had a fortune of meeting Mr. Kandal Nayar, who was my great great friend, and uh, he gave me 26 qualities which they do because I do career guidance for students as well, day in and day out. So 26 qualities which they seek in a student, whom they select. One of the qualities is emotional intelligence, which spirituality has to offer. So IQ is one aspect of your life, but not the all in all of your life. So we need to train students into EQ, that is emotional quotient, how to deal with emotions. So therefore, when when de dealing with students, Taiti Yogananda talks about five levels of coaching: Ananda Mai Kosh, Prana Mai Kosh, Mano Mai Kosh, Vidya Mai Kosh, and Ananda Mai Kosh. So they are called as five quotients, and we need to develop them. That is the wholesome development of a student. So how do we do that? And there, there are so many things to talk about that. And one more thing in regards to your question as well, I have written a book, Launch Your Life to the Next Level, and uh, the from book maker Swen Sir has helped me kindly, and it was published by Swasti Publishers, and the book is quite doing well. Many of us have these questions, and I want to get up early in the morning. I do get up, but I can't continue. How many of you have ever faced that problem? Therefore, Oscar Wilde, the British philosopher, he has said, you know, the New Year resolutions are never new. <laughs> <laughs> I take a resolution from today, first of January. By the way, December is approaching soon. So the first meeting a resolution from day one, I am going to start this yoga and meditation. I want to take out some time. You start doing very well, and by the end of Chaturanti, some people fail. <laughs> some people still continue. But by the end, by the by the end of Valentine's Day, they will. And the new year arises, and then again take the same resolution from next day, right? So what makes us more consistent? How to really take your life ahead? All these questions are answered wonderfully in this well-researched book, backed up by all modern researches as well as all of our traditional Vedic culture. So, if you want to really take your life to have a look at that book, it's available on Amazon. Hard copy as well as e-book is available. Thank you. Thank you. I'm what? sure you, what? most of you will have questions. Can I give for one more there? You suggest the last question or whatever, whatever. I am. Yeah, the that. last question. Uh, I mean, yeah. <coughs> I'm sure this is important. I'm looking for something, so I have to. I'm sorry about it. And no worries, no worries. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. This question has been troubling me for the past. I don't remember quite exactly, but three point five years. Uh, in my age, nineteen. There's two philosophies, or I would say that two sentences. I'm stuck in between. You are the writer of your life, or the narrator of your life. And everything is pre-planned. That everything is fixed. You have a destiny. I'm stuck between that because I <coughs> work for something very hard, like 110%. I didn't get it. And I was like, if I am the writer, why <laughs> it's not showing up on the books? <laughs> and then <coughs> after some time, I realized that wait, that that happened, that rough time was actually a blessing, not a curse. So please enlighten me. What is? You only answered your question, no? I answered it. Exactly. But just to throw some light on the other question, many people have this. My karma karma, its the fruit. Or everything is written. Everything. What exactly it is? One example. Farmer's life. Beach was very good. The land was very good. But the rain didn't come. कुछ फायदा होगा? जी नहीं। उसके विपरीत, बारिश बिल्कुल अच्छी है, वातावरण बिल्कुल अच्छा है, जमीन की जोताई भी बहुत अच्छे से हुई है, लेकिन बीज थड़ता सुनिए। फायदा होगा? नहीं। तो खेत की जोताई करना, वो है हमारा कर्म, और बारिश होना, ये है दैव। 
So we are dependent on both. So both are needed. Not both, there are five factors. Krishna says in the 18th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, there are five factors for success in any field. Adishthanam tadagarta karanam chayamta vidam vividasya bhuta chesta daivam chayvatra panchamam So there are five factors actually. Daiva is one of them. Modern day, we are taught you can win, you can do, you are the writer of your life, you are the script writer and everything happens. You just think and the law of attraction, the secret, I lost my life, that. But that is just one aspect. They forget the other aspect and therefore people end up in depression. People end up committing suicide. As if it is so simple that just like keeping sui on the side. <laughs> so become, ah, it has become so easy step for people to take when they are in depression. But life is not that cheap. Life is not that easy. So we need to do a lot of hard work, as you said, 110%. But then we also should be ready for plan B, dear friend. Amitabh Bachchan, you know, is a rock star today. When he came in Mumbai, working for film industry, he was rejected many times. Now, your height is too much, and I said, there is a lot of depth in your voice and not so good. Like that, so many comments he got. Before entering there, he had plan B ready. He had a driving license, but if nothing works out, I work as a driver. That was his plan B. And I suggest plan C also to be ready. Yeah. Right. So keep your plan C also ready. If not this, if not that, if not A, B, C. So we keep his plan ready. So we are doing all our hard work. As we say usually, do your best and leave the rest to God. Yeah. So leave the rest to Him. Something is going to work out. Because we see immediate picture but the God in the whole picture. Our life is just you know, like a spark, this current life. We also have a previous life. We also are going to have a next life. So this is we are on a multi-life journey actually. And we are just seeing this one. But God is seeing all those lives. So there is certainly going to be something good in our life. So Lord has made a master plan. So we need to cooperate with that plan. By putting over 110% effort. Right? what we have discussed is community connection that you have stated about. I would immediately connect to that of the four icebreakers that we have used, but I have got to connect with something called as a train mate we had earlier when you travel by train. So there are like people around, we speak to them, we have discussions, expressions, emotions and then comes a help. But I think unfortunately we don't have time even then during the train hours when we keep working on your mobile. But Point is, everybody say that we should be away from our mobile, the buses should be away and uh, you know, don't concentrate on it. But my point is, how do we do that? It's in, in fact, everybody says concentrate, everybody says uh, you know, avoid phones. But we'd be really glad if someone tells us how to do that because it, it has become a habitual part of life, right? Some suggestions I can, this is a practical, eh? practical question, we all agree? Yes. Yes. There. Even government won't allow you to do many things at a time. You know, don't text and drive. This is the slogans today. Yeah. Don't drink and drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the point is that I feel scared to go or if I put a helmet on my car or if I put a helmet on my car or if I put a helmet on my car or if I put a helmet on my car or if I put a helmet on my car But that's not going to happen for my mobile phone usage, right? It happens if you are driving and try to use your phone on a signal. Yeah, exactly. So, if I go to the house and the mobile is uh, mm -hmm. onto a bus and I say, no, I am not going to take my mobile because I know for the fact that nobody is going to charge me a fine there. So, I, I personally, uh, what has helped me, I tell you. Two, three things I follow. My phone works for me in a very better way, in a very fascinating way. It works very nicely for me, so I give it a good rest. <laughs> it works very nice for me, I give it a very good rest of 12 hours. My phone is on flight mode from night 9 to morning 9. So I get a good night rest and I get to do all my morning stuff 
morning 5 to 9 I am awake and uh, I do a lot, I write sometimes, there I meditate, I do exercise, I do connect and then after that for 12 hours I do this. Second thing, which uh, from which Bilani passed out student Raj Bhavna who has his own institute, make the most of your mind, some of you might be aware of, he offers one solution. What he says, if you are going to turn on the internet on your phone or on your laptop anywhere, define the time when you are going to get up. So now it's 6.50 and I am going to turn on. I decide that at 7.05 I am going to turn off the internet. And if you have only 15 minutes, then you are going to do the most important task. Yes. Right? Yes. You are not going to just see how many likes your Insta post has got. You are not going to just mindlessly scroll and surf on the internet. You are going to do the most important stuff in those 15 minutes. And if you do that in 10 minutes and 5 minutes you scroll, okay, fine. So define the time of your usage. You become your own parent, as they say, parenting control. Mm -hmm. This is yes. a buzzword in giving to the kids <coughs> this technology. So become your own parent and have that. So timeline, you know, some of my students I tell them, you know, you have breakfast, lunch and dinner, right? You all have? Yes. So 15 minutes after breakfast, 15 minutes after lunch and 15 minutes after dinner, that's all for the day. And you are done with it. I do sometimes internet fasting. You have you heard about Nir Jala Yes. Yes. We don't even take water. And by the way, there is a great science out of hacking and uh, you know you were cancer and Nobel Prize was given to two scientists from Japan when they said no, but that is actually invention of our own yes. Rishis, whom I call scientists actually. So there is a fasting called as Nir Jala fasting wherein you don't take any gel. Yes. I do a fasting called as near internet fasting. <laughs> I don't consume any internet on that. For every 15 days I do that. And you will wonder. When I don't have to turn on the internet and I feel liberated almost. Yes. And the next day when I turn on the internet, I go through all those messages. There is no epiphany. There was nothing urgent. And the routine starts. I have missed a lot of things. I have never seen it until now. You can see it. One day, no internet. Next day, you will not ask yourself about internet. What will happen tomorrow? I am thinking about what will happen tomorrow. What will happen tomorrow? What will happen tomorrow? People are least bothered about us. That's why we are thinking about it. People are least bothered about us. So, yeah. Let her, we become bothered about us and save ourselves from this. So this practical solution may help even try out.